Hello everyone, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about determining a geometric sequence. After watching this video, you will be able to determine whether the given sequence is geometric or not. Now let's define first geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant and that non-zero constant is what we call as common ratio with symbol of small letter r. Now let's have an example. Determine if 2, 4, 8, 16 is a geometric sequence. How will we know that the sequence is geometric? very easy just check the ratio between two consecutive terms so how to get the ratio okay let's consider the example 2 4 8 16. now we have here a term 4 divide that one by the preceding term so 4 divided by 2 the answer is 2 8 divided by 4, the answer is also 2. 16 divided by 8, the answer is 2. 2 here is what we call as common ratio. In other words, we obtain the next term by multiplying the preceding term by 2. So for example, how did we get 16? We multiply 8 by 2. And if you want to get the next term, say for example, you want to get the next term of this, just multiply 16 by 2. So 16 times 2, if we want to get the next term, we will have 32. Okay, that is the concept of geometric sequence. But for this time, let me show to you the detailed solution in finding the common ratio. So in the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16... 2 is the first term, and 4 is the second term, 8 is the third term, while 16 is the fourth term. So by formula, that is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, a sub 4 divided by a sub 3, and so on. Now by substitution, we have... 4 divided by 2, 8 divided by 4, 16 divided by 8. And if we're going to get the quotient between the two numbers, all of them will give a quotient of 2. That is why example number 1 is an example of a geometric sequence. Since the ratio between two consecutive consecutive terms is constant now let's consider example number two determine if 5 negative 10 20 negative 40 is a geometric sequence so to check whether the sequence is geometric we have to check for the common ratio so negative 10 divided by 5, the answer is negative 2. 20 divided by negative 10, the answer is also negative 2. Negative 40 divided by 20, the answer is also negative 2. So if you have observed, the quotient between two consecutive terms is constant. In other words, the common ratio is negative 2. So therefore, we can now conclude that the sequence is a geometric sequence. But for this time, I'll be showing to you the detailed solution in finding the common ratio. So for the given sequence 5, negative 10, 20, negative 40, we have the corresponding values of first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. So by formula, that is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2 
and a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. By substitution, we have a sub 2 negative 10 divided by 5, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, that is 20 divided by negative 10, and a sub 4 divided by a sub 3, that is negative 40 divided by 20. Okay, all of them will give a ratio of negative 2. So, the given sequence is a geometric sequence. Moving on, example number 3. Determine if 3, 6, 18, 72 is a geometric sequence. So, same process. Determine if the, the ratio between two consecutive terms is constant. So we have here to divide, of course, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 18 divided by 6, we have 3. So if you have observed, they are not the same. So with that, we can already conclude that this sequence is not a geometric sequence. So, for our solution further, we have a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. The formula in finding for the common ratio or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2, a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. So, by substitution, we have and to solve for this, they have different ratio. 6 divided by 3, 2. 18 divided by 6, 3. And 72 divided by 18 is 4. So that is why the given sequence is not geometric. Next, let's have example number 4. Determine if 5, 0, 0 is a geometric sequence. Same process. We have to determine the ratio between two consecutive terms. Now let's check. 0 divided by 5. Of course, any number divided by 0 is 0. And 0 divided by 0 is also 0. 0 divided by 0 is also 0. If you have observed, the ratio is the same. But can we consider this as a geometric sequence? Now let's go back to the description of geometric sequence. Accordingly, geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant. The question is, are we multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant? No. Because to get the next term, we multiply the preceding term by zero. So, it does not meet the condition. So, though we have the same ratio, but this is not an example of a geometric sequence because the condition is it should be multiplied by non-zero constant. So therefore, 5000 is not a geometric sequence. Now let's have the fifth example. It determine if the given sequence is a geometric sequence or not. First one is 32, 16, 8, 4. So we'll check the common ratio. So of course, the common ratio is 1 half, 16 divided by 32, 8 divided by 16, and 4 divided by 8. So therefore, the first example in number 5 is a geometric sequence. Second, 6 tenths divided by 1, that is 6 tenths, 36 hundredths, divided by 6 tenths, that is also 6 tenths, and 216 thousandths divided by 36 hundredths is also 6 tenths. So if you have observed, 
we have also a common ratio. Therefore, the second example is a geometric sequence. Now let's have the third. So we will check also the common ratio, negative 10 divided by negative 6. We'll just write our answer in fraction form this time. So that is equal to 5 over 3. And negative 14 divided by negative 10, that is 7 over 5. And negative 18 divided by negative 14, that is 9 over 7. So if you have observed, the ratio is not the same, therefore it is not a geometric. But can you still remember what type of sequence letter C? Yes, this is an arithmetic sequence because we were able to get the next term by adding negative 4 to the preceding term because negative 4 is the common difference. That's all for today. Hopefully you learned something. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. Do not be anxious about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4 verse 6 Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you also to all who have subscribed to my channel. Please like or comment if you learned something and have questions regarding the video. Kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. That's all for today and God bless you all.